When it comes to choosing a lawn mower, it seems there's as many models as there are blades of grass in your lawn. So how do you choose the right mower for your space? There are three main factors to consider when buying a mower. The size of your lawn, the terrain, or how flat or hilly your lawn is, and topography. How many obstacles you need to mow around, such as trees, rocks, and garden beds. A mower with a bigger deck will get a big job done quicker, but if you have to manoeuvre around garden beds and tight spaces, a smaller deck will be a better option. If you've got a few hills and dips, and especially if you have a big yard, a self-propelled lawn mower will make mole hills out of mountains, and you'll hardly raise a sweat. With battery-powered mowers becoming more popular, runtime is important. Nobody likes a half-mowed lawn, so choosing the mower with enough runtime to complete the job from start to finish is a priority. Of course, some mowers require more maintenance than others, so time spent maintaining your lawn mower is also worth considering. Let's start by looking at your lawn mower's power source. You've got petrol, corded, and battery operated models to choose from. So, depending on your lawn, different power sources will handle different conditions. Tradition has it that lawn mowers use petrol engines. These days, petrol driven lawn mowers are still the best and most efficient way to cover the largest areas of lawn. We recommend them for large gardens over 700 square metres. That's about four tennis courts. They also have a very long runtime, averaging four hours of use per tank. And if that's not enough runtime for you, one of the biggest benefits of petrol mowers is that you can simply top up with more fuel and you're ready to go again. The torque levels of petrol engines are generally higher than other power sources. Torque is the measurement of the blade's turning power. A high torque level means you can tackle harder, thicker and longer grass. Perfect if you don't mow regularly. Petrol mowers require a little more maintenance than corded and battery operated mowers, but if you're prepared to do the work, they'll do more work for you. If you have a large lawn and don't have access to outlets, you want to check out a mower that runs on a 36 volt battery. The 36 volt range from Ryobi gives you petrol levels of performance without the noise, the fumes, or the actual level of maintenance required of petrol models. If you use a 5 amp hour battery, you can get up to 65 minutes of run time. We recommend using this power source in medium to large backyards, around 400 to 700 square metres, which is about three and a half tennis courts. The 36 volt range from Ryobi is engineered for your outdoor spaces. And with the entire range of garden tools running off the one battery, changing in between tools has never been easier. Something to consider with the 36 volt mowers is the latest brushless motor technology. Brushless motors are more efficient, provide longer run time and give longer life. They can be a little more expensive than brush motors, but the initial investment is well worth it. With the perfect balance between size, weight and performance, the 36 volt mowers will be sure to make you the envy of your neighbourhood. If you have a small to medium lawn and you're a DIY fan, the Ryobi 18 volt one plus lawnmower range might be the one for you. Perfect for those who maintain their grass regularly. With run time up to 30 minutes on a five amp hour battery, these are perfect for a lawn between 200 and 400 square metres, or two tennis courts. The OnePlus lawnmower runs off a single 18 volt battery. The same battery that runs a whole shed full of Ryobi OnePlus garden and power tools. These mowers are incredibly light, compact and easy to store. Perfect if you're limited in space, but you still love your lawn. Look how light this thing is. It's a common misconception that steel decks are stronger than plastic. However, the plastic decks in all Ryobi mowers are made with the same lightweight and tough material as your car's bumper, so they're built to take a beating. There's also no bending or chipping. Up to 50% lighter than the equivalent steel deck, these bad boys are easy to push around. If you're looking for a model with great runtime and power, then a corded mower may be the answer. 
These machines will run as long as the length of your cord and they're ideal for a small to medium lawn with access to power. It's important to note that when using these models, piggybacking extension cords isn't recommended as it affects the performance and it's unsafe. So we don't recommend corded for large spaces unless you have multiple power outlets around the garden that you can connect to. When choosing an extension lead, it's important to choose a good quality one that's no longer than 25 metres. Any longer, and you may experience a drop in performance due to current transfer. Corded mowers are virtually maintenance free and are always ready to go. So they're a great option if you want to plug in and mow. And here's a tip, no matter how maintenance free your lawnmower is, the finish of your lawn will only be as good as the quality and sharpness of your blades. We recommend changing them every 12 months or so, or at the start of spring. So don't let anyone lead you down the garden path when it comes to choosing your lawnmower. Head along to your local Bunnings and pick up a mower that best suits your needs. Ryobi, a cut above.